Hi, it's Friday. You know what that means? It's time for another Double Feature Friday. And this week I'm talking about two films from the director, Catherine Bigelow. And those films are Blue Steel and Point Break. Catherine Bigelow is a great director, I think, especially her older work. I don't know, she has a great eye and a great style, and these two films are no exception. Blue Steel stars Jamie Lee Curtis as a cop, a rookie cop, and this movie really kind of freaked me out. I mean, in terms of a killer, this is kind of spoilery, but kind of not. Jamie Lee Curtis is a rookie cop out on her first day with her partner and they stop somewhere to get coffee and he goes to the wash, her partner goes to the washroom and she's by herself and she sees this crime happening across the street, a hold up at gunpoint in this grocery store with a bunch of people around. So she goes over and sneaks in through the back door and wants to obviously defuse the situation. And she ends up having to shoot the robber, the criminal, whatever, several times. And, or he is uh, robbing the cashier at gunpoint, but in the action of him getting a shot, he kind of like flies back through the plate glass window. He drops his gun and their bystanders sees a gun and sees an opportunity to um, have a gun. So while everyone's sort of, there's all this chaos, obviously, and while it's all going on, he picks up the gun and puts it in his pocket. And that sort of causes this snowball effect of him murdering a bunch of people. And I found that was <laughs> so stressful that some people maybe have these like murderous or evil intentions and all they really need is this opportunity to be handed to them for them to act on it. It's kind of a scary thought. Anyways, he becomes romantically involved with Jamie Lee Curtis, who is very lonely. Her character is very wonderful. I thought she was great in this film. There are a lot of great action sequences. There is a lot of really good suspense. My only complaint about this film is that it spends a lot of time, like there, are so many points in the film where you think this is gonna be the climax and it's not. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I mean, you kind of, it keeps you on your toes the whole time, but I do think at one, at a certain point I was like, okay, this just has to be the end of the movie by now. And it is kind of a longer film. I think it's closer to two hours, but it is so well done. I thought it was wonderful. All the suspense is, like really well earned and like I said Jamie Lee Curtis is amazing. I think Catherine Bigelow did a wonderful job directing this film. She just knows how to direct action sequences and chase sequences in a way that's so interesting and I really enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> All right so let's talk about Point Break. Point Break stars Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze. Oh Gary Busey is in it. Oh and Laura Petty who was in Tank Girl and a bunch of other stuff. Point Break, this was my first time watching it. I thought Keanu Reeves, honestly, is so hunky in this movie. He has never looked better. He plays this like young football player, FBI agent, and he's partnered with Gary Busey. This was also a wonderful performance from Gary Busey. I thought he was so charming and really endearing. Usually I find his performances are kind of off the wall, which I guess is like his thing. But I felt this was like a very sensitive and nuanced performance from Gary Busey and it was just wonderful. And then Patrick Swayze plays a criminal surfer who's very love and peace and very hippie-ish. Um, he has great hair in this movie. I think I need to have uh, a Patrick Swayze point break mullet. I think I'm gonna grow my hair out. So he has like a gang of friends and they're going around robbing banks. Uh, wearing the masks of past presidents and they're always very good and very successful in their robberies and no one's been able to catch these criminals and but uh, Keanu Reeves or and Gary Busey has this theory that they must be surfers because of the cycle of the robberies and all this stuff. So Keanu Reeves goes undercover and sort of gets in with the surfer crowd and then sadly realizes that his friend is actually one of the criminals so it's a very interesting movie again very well shot a lot of great like there's this 
great chase sequence. Keanu Reeves chasing down one of these um, ex-presidents down all these alleyways and through houses and it was just really well done. There's this action sequence that's sort of a standoff at a house and that was so good. A lot of good suspense. Again, Catherine Bigelow does just a wonderful job of making this such an enjoyable film to watch. And again, it's another longer film, I think also closer to two hours, but really good and really worthwhile. Worth checking out if you haven't seen it. I'm surprised I haven't seen it until now. Um, but yeah, so good. And like I said, Keanu Reeves is like the most beautiful. He looks like an angel baby in this movie. And if you are into Keanu Reeves at all and you haven't seen this film, I say check it out because I'm not that into him, but I thought this movie, he looks so great. And I think that's it for me for this week. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, bye for now.